Hi beautiful people, in this video I will be showing you how to formulate a very simple basic body cream or body lotion from scratch using natural ingredients. So pick up your pen and paper because it is time to learn. To make a cream or lotion, there are three phases, the water phase, the oil phase and the cool down phase. So we are starting with the water phase. The first ingredient I'll be using in the water phase is distilled water. You can also replace this with rose water or you can use hydrosols, cucumber hydrosol, any other hydrosol is fine. The second ingredient I'll be using in the water phase is vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is an emulsion that helps to draw in moisture into the skin. We are going to begin by combining the vegetable glycerin and the distilled water together and then we will have our water phase. I will attach the full recipe somewhere at the end of this video so make sure you watch till the end. Now I'll just mix to combine the distilled water and glycerin together properly and then we are going to set this aside and move on to the oil phase. Moving on to the oil phase, the first ingredient I will be using is this ojoba oil you can use any other carrier oil of choice you can use grapeseed oil coconut oil any carrier oil that suits your skin i'll also be adding in emulsifying wax to the oil phase now what an emulsifying wax does is to combine water and oil together normally water and oil cannot mix together without separating so we need something to help hold them together and that's why we are using this emulsifying wax so the same way we combined the glycerin and the stewed water together i am going to combine the emulsifying wax and the oil together so i'll add the emulsifying wax into the oil and then we'll have our oil phase so here are our both phases the water phase which contains the glycerin and the distilled water and the oil phase which contains the emulsifying wax and the oil now we are going to heat them up using the double boiling method as you can see there is a pot with boiling water and i have dropped both of them inside the pot now we are going to leave them on the heat until the emulsifying wax is completely dissolved this process might take about 10 minutes depending on the quantity of lotion you are making so as you can see it's already dissolving gradually and here it is our emulsifying wax is completely dissolved and both phases are heated up now i am going to immediately combine both phases together i have my mixing bowl here and i'm going to transfer the oil phase into the mixing bowl and then i will also add in the water phase into the mixing bowl as well to create the emulsion this should be done immediately do not let your phases cool before combining them together now after combining here is my stick blender also known as an emulsion blender this is what we use to create the lotion to mix the both phases together and create our cream or lotion you cannot use your normal hand mixer to do this and you cannot use a spatula or spoon immediately after combining the phases together i'm going to put my stick blender into it and blend away this is to create our lotion after blending for a while i'll also use my spatula to mix so i'm going to alternate between using the stick blender and using the spatula so that we don't blend too much you might be wondering why the lotion looks very watery that's because it's still very warm as it cools it's going to become thicker until it gets to its final consistency so yes i'll keep blending and then mixing and once the lotion cools it's going to thicken up this is after a while of mixing and cooling as you can see the lotion has thickened up quite a bit this is the consistency I want for my lotion. It's not too thick and it's not too watery. If you want a thicker lotion, then increase the percentage of your emulsifier. Or if you want a lotion that is more watery, then you should increase your water percentage. Now it's time to add our cool down ingredients. 
remember i said that a lotion has three phases so now we are in the cool down phase now all the ingredients in the cool down phase must be added when the lotion is completely cool because they are heat sensitive so i have added in my vitamin e oil and I'll also add in my Jamal Plus preservative because of course this product contains water. Now I'm going to mix to combine the vitamin E oil and Jamal Plus preservative with the lotion. Mix well to ensure that the preservative and the vitamin E oil spread all around the cream. I know you enjoyed joining me in making this very simple yet effective natural body cream and body lotion. But trust me, there is more. So if you would like to broaden your knowledge on lotion formulation, you want to learn more tips and tricks, how to make more advanced lotions, then you need to join my lotion formulation course. It's an online course that will teach you all you need to know about formulating lotions from scratch. More than you have learned in this video. It will introduce you to lotions, how to choose the right ingredients for your lotions, how to write a proper lotion formula, converting your formulas from percentage to grams and meals, how to test and balance the pH of your lotions, how to make a brightening lotion, anti-aging lotion, and lots more. This course is beginner friendly. Whether you have made a lotion before or you haven't, this course is suitable for you. It's suitable for people who want to make lotions for personal use or people who want to make lotions for sale. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to register now. This is the formula to make this simple body cream or body lotion in percentages and here is the measurements for a 200 ml total batch size so you can take a screenshot and refer back to it when you want to replicate your own lotion so now i'm going to transfer my lotion into my bottle and save for use this lotion is excellent for the skin. It's simple and easy to make. It will help moisturize your skin. This lotion is safe for use on the face and on the body. It's suitable for all skin types. There is no fear of irritation. It's suitable for acne prone skin, sensitive skin, normal skin, dry skin, combination skin. This lotion is suitable for all skin types it's also suitable for kids so you have no worries because it is all natural if you found this video helpful and if you will be trying out this recipe at home please let me know in the comment section let me know what questions you have about this video also please do give this video a huge thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed watching it and also subscribe for more exclusive content like this bye and see you in my next video but before then take a look at the beautiful pictures i took of this body cream